Hi guys, good morning. You guys, uh, hmm, the past few days have been hectic. In fact, hectic is an understatement. So, I'm supposed to be traveling to South Africa tomorrow. And I say supposed to be because I don't have my passport as I right now. And I'm leaving Port Harcourt in the next 30 minutes. I'm going to the airport in the next 30 minutes and I don't have my passport yet. So, I'm still trying to track the passport to see if I can get it in time so that I can travel tomorrow. And hopefully, fingers crossed, prayers up, I hope, I pray that it's going to get to me. But the process is stressing me. Next year, I decree and declare that I'm going to have stress-free, soft life trips, okay? I'm going to have all expense paid soft life stress-free stress -free trips where I'm just going to be looking pretty and just getting ready for the flight day, okay? Because it seems like my last three or four trips, in fact, all my trips basically I've ever done outside of this country, there's always last minute, okay, aside the one I went to my husband, because I want maybe he's one I did this church, I can't even remember what happened then, but every other flight that I've gone with myself or by myself or, you know, I've always had stress. The first time I went to Netherlands, I collected my airports in the morning and left in the evening. I say airport. I collected my passports in the morning and left in the evening. I think my Uber is here. I'll just you guys later on the rest of the story. Hi guys, <laughs> I'm at my hotel room in Lagos. This is Ibis Hotel. Shout out to Sky Bell, yes, a fellow YouTuber. She's the one that helps me to find this hotel. Well, she one told me about the hotel anyway. I think she came here actually too. Um, yeah, so I just booked them on Booking.com last minute yesterday night. Um, I booked them on Booking.com and then you know came here directly from the airport. Place looks good, um, good enough. It's a small room. Um, although size of room is not my, my, my business right now. I opened the window. Yeah, it's a small room. Maybe I'll just show you guys around quickly or, or maybe later. But here, yeah, you guys, my journey is still not ended. My journey is still not certain. My my passport, I've still not gotten it. In fact, Nelon right now is waiting for, you know, the passport at UPS office. She wants to, um, they called her that is already on the way from the airport to UPS office. So she's just there waiting. Ah, this thing has stressed a lot of people, okay? And thank thank God I even have Nelo to help me, you know, go and get it because God is not even around. So imagine if I didn't have anybody to I would have cancelled today's flight and then start looking for how to come tomorrow. And the thing about coming on the day of your flight is of your international flight is anything can happen. Hmm. The only thing, although it's a 50 50 thing because the person that is bringing my my um, this thing. My passport is also coming tomorrow. So if her flight is delayed or whatever, then my passport is delayed, so I can't even go anywhere. So I'm exhausted. I just want to lie down first and just center myself, just cool, cool off, like just maybe even sleep safe. When I wake up, I'll now understand what's going on because I'm right now really, really, really tired and I feel sick somehow. But yeah, let me show you guys the room. So that's the bed. A window, chair, I don't know what that is. Wardrobe, okay, no, you <laughs> could feel wardrobe. That's the wardrobe. There's the TV. Um, I don't even see the bathroom because this bathroom that used to bother me most times. Um, the bathroom is not that bad. It's, it's, I don't know, it's okay. Do these people think I'm going to use this at towel? Nope, not gonna happen. Thank God I came with my own. So that is me. I'm surprised I don't look like a wet chicken at, the, at this point because this hair is eh, very high maintenance. Oh. Very, very, in fact, the most high maintenance hair I've ever had. So if you're not careful, you just look like a wet chicken, sharp, sharp. My laptop is in there. I'll just do a little bit of editing. Maybe I'll put up a video and then I'll now 
Okay, um, so I think I'm... Why did I just wear my glasses itself? Anyway, I think I'm just going to um, edit a video and put it out. Um, yeah, I had a video I was supposed to put out yesterday, but because of the wahala of... In fact, I can't even start describing what I, what I went through yesterday. But I'm not here to complain anyway. I'm graceful, please. I'd rather be here than, than anywhere else, okay? I'd rather be here on my way to South Africa than anywhere else. Um, I don't know if I told you guys what I'm going for, but I'm going for my graduation from the YouTube Black Fonts class of 2022. Our graduation is holding in South Africa. We're going to be there for three days, I think. I'm leaving on the 12th and I'm coming back on the 17th. However, I'm going to be there for three days, um, three nights basically. I'll be there for three nights. So I'm excited. I need to repack my stuff a bit though because I noticed that. I don't know, because of the last minute packing, I have things I didn't put properly, but yeah, I need to repack and arrange myself, lie down, sleep, and yeah, I'll update you guys on my passport later. Let me just relax my body first. Let me lie down first. Hi guys, good morning. How you doing? I had a very good night yesterday. Um, yeah, I had a good night. I've been craving aloneness for a while, and having it yesterday was like bliss. Even though I said missing my children, like I miss my children, Sha, but <laughs> I was enjoying myself. So I had a good night. Um, I'm actually very hungry now. I want to go and have breakfast. I didn't eat yesterday. The only thing I ate yesterday was um, in the morning I drank tea and then in the afternoon that stuff they give you in the airplane that was it and I didn't want to go and start buying food because number one food here is very expensive okay when I saw the prices I was like <laughs> rice and meat or rice and whatever your meat is 6,800 cook 1,100 that was like are you people thieves even though I wasn't planning to buy cook I'm just like no it was expensive anyway people don't need to know that so I want to go now again have breakfast buffet um, after having breakfast, I'll come back and just maybe continue editing the video and after that I'll pack and get going. I actually ordered the hoodie this morning from somebody in this Lagos. Um, no, I ordered it last night because I did not bring sweater. I don't know how I forgot, although I packed last minute. In fact, maybe I'll tell the story later on, but I actually did pack last minute, like really, really last minute. So because of it, I think I forgot. I think there's anything I forgot anyway for now until we get there and say another thing. So... I ordered the hoodie, so I'm waiting for them. Once they deliver it, I'll be off so that I can settle down, do everything I need to do, then just chill. I don't want to be doing rushing, rushing, rushing. Uh -uh. I want to chill in the airport. Um, I hope the waiting area is a good way, is a good place, so because sometimes airports, airline waiting areas can be stressful. I don't know why I'm talking too much. Anyway, let me go and eat and I'll see you guys when I come back. I think I'll show you guys some clips. Let's see. I'll use my phone to vlog. Okay, bye. <laughs> Hi guys, so I'm done having breakfast. I don't think I really enjoyed the breakfast, but I enjoyed the fruit part of the breakfast, okay? The bread and egg and tea I drank, I just, I just managed it. Anyway, so let me give you guys a gist about how I eventually got my passport back. And uh, right now, Amaka Skybell, she's on her way to, I think to Nigeria. <laughs> she's on her way to Port Harcourt to She's on her way to Lagos now with the passport. So she's going to be coming here because she says she's going to Ikeja around this Ikeja area to pick up something. So from there, she will come here and you know give me the passport and then I think she will just will just chill a bit before we start rushing to the airport. Thankfully, we're in Ikeja. Ikeja is quite close to the international. Okay. Thankfully, we're in, okay. Thankfully, we are in Ikeja. You know, so we're close to the airport, so we can leave. 
um, at a normal time, okay? At a normal time, the kind of time people that are in Port Harcourt leave to the airport is the time I'm going to be leaving here, okay? <laughs> Not Lagos people's time. Lagos people's time is 7 a.m. <laughs> anyway, this passport thing, you hmm. So my passport came out on today is on Thursday, yes, Thursday evening. In fact, Thursday around 6 p.m. was when I got the mail that my passport had been dispatched from the um, you know VFS office. And I was like, hey, <laughs> that was Thursday evening. At that point, to be honest, I I had kind of given up, okay? I just felt like, you know what? You win some, you lose some, okay? I'm not gonna go for this trip. It's going to pain me. If I see anybody posting video about it, I will skip the video. <laughs> you know, that was my plan. I was like, any video I see, any post I see about it, I will skip. In fact, I will mute everybody I know that's going to be in the trip, you know, just so that I will not start feeling bad, you know? So, I'd already like, mentally adjusted which is unlike me actually because me i'm the kind of person that i used to i used to be positive to the end like <laughs> even if they tell me no in my mind i'm like you just that no people are saying you don't know what they are saying you know so it was very very unlike me to to say no i think it's just because of what i was saying before where it's like every trip i have to be this mentally stressed before i travel so i just told myself you know what let me just any hand thing wants to work let's see work okay so that evening i was chatting with sky bell and I was chatting on Instagram because that's where you know we started talking. And that day, in fact, like let's say like an hour before this this event happened, something told me just give her your number now. Why are you chatting on Instagram? You push chat on a normal call or just call, you know. So i you know how you you have a talk and then you are doing something because I was editing a video. That video did not still go up that day. But anyway, I was editing a video, I take my skincare video. So you know the thoughts just came in, but because I was editing video, I didn't do it. So I I continued editing the video. Then I was chatting with her, then I think I dropped my phone and I went to attend to what was it Eva that was crying and the somebody shout something was happening in my house. I should have left the room. By the time I came back, uh, and I went back to our chat, I now saw video call, miss video call, miss call, miss call. And she now sent a voice note saying that I should send her my will bill number so that she would tell them to stop the passport from you know leaving Abuja that night. Okay. She was in UPS office at that time, okay. My dear brothers and sisters, hey, I was like, what kind? And this was just like, I think her last call for, to me was like two minutes before I picked up, you know, my phone. So I was like, hey, and now, you know, got the number sent to her, started calling her, she wasn't picking. I was like, which guy will Allah be this? So I did not want this pressure. I did not want this pressure to get worse. <laughs> you know, I called her, called her, called her, called her, she didn't pick. I think before she even responded to me, said, I just entered my car immediately. I just was like around 6.30. And then my car and started driving straight to UPS office in Jerry. Hey, I was driving, driving, driving. And me, first of all, I don't like driving at night, okay? I don't, I, I, I detest it. Like, if I'll drive at night, let me just lie down and sleep on my bed. It's better for me, okay? It's better for me to just lie down and sleep on my bed than for me to drive at night, okay? So, I hate driving at night, but I mean, <laughs> will I be there say I don't drive at night and my passport will now, you know, pass me? So, I now enter my car and started driving. In fact, it's God that sent me that day because I wasn't even saying well, I was just driving anyhow. So I got to the um, UPS office and they told me they had closed. In fact, they didn't even allow me to enter. And the gate was open, no. But they saw me coming, they came, asked me what I wanted to do there. I told them, said they've closed. In my presence, they closed the gate. I was so tired and just devastated. I was like, what kind, what kind of wahala is this? Like, why is my own difference? Why is my own difference? You know. So anyway, um, the, I now gave one guy my web number to help me track it. He said, you help me track it. No, he didn't help me anyway. But um, I just gave him my real bill number and I now left, you know, so by that time she had, already, she had already responded to me Now told me, you know, that she was calling me when she was there They were, I think they had even closed or they were about to close Once it's time to open, they will not open no, but once it's time to close, they will close sharp sharp So, you know, I was just like, no, wahala, she actually tried her best In fact, thank God that she even went there, so I now knew that, okay, our, um, the passports could be stopped, you know I now started calling. So she now told me that she was going to help me. The person I was supposed to pick up her passport from Abuja, the person will help me see if he can pick up my own passport as well so they can just send it directly through flights to me to Lagos here. All efforts to get my visa came to nothing. Like, um, according to Skype, but when she called the person there, the person was shouting that, ah, why didn't we stop it? That she was trying, they were trying to explain to her that they stopped one, but the other one, that they didn't have the real bill number, but they're supposed to come together. And I kind of saying that, that this is where we are dispatched together, they're supposed to come together. They're just, just check and bring it out. Say they didn't agree um, that the passport had already left according to them. Um. And the thing that annoyed me, okay, because that same morning too, this is my story is all over the place, but just just anything you understand, collect it like that, okay? <laughs> that same morning, that same Friday morning, that's 
few hours to my flight i rushed first thing i rushed to the vfd to the ups office i met one lady there i was not trying to explain to her that see what happened though she just said she remembered me that my friend was really here calling calling i found that my friend was even trying to delay so that you know i can pick but because she stayed for a long time the rain was even falling and i said yes it was instagram call she said no it's not instagram call it's facebook call i said okay all i know is that it was not normal call so and again my instagram does not have notifications because at some point it's almost like i was running mad with instagram so it doesn't have notifications now so i go to instagram when i want to go to instagram not because i've seen a notification and i now open it you know so on top of that, whatever I but I did not pick the call. So what can I do now? She said, nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. See, and women, eh? I keep saying this thing that women can be very evil. But when I think about it, it's not a woman thing, it's not a man thing, yeah? But I think the difference is... <laughs> this is my theory, okay? Now, good women are very good. Like, good women are very, very... They can go... They can climb mountains for you, right? While the not-so-good women or the wicked ones are... Quite wicked, like they will deal with you. <laughs> they will deal with you. I'm talking about in general relational terms, right? People that are not nice, who don't like you, women that don't like you, women that don't really like you or want to help you, they can be very wicked. While women who like you can do anything for you, okay? Because I've experienced both. So I mean, even in this case, I'm exp I experienced literally both because Nello and Skybell were actually actively trying to help me get my passport, while the women in the UPS office we are actively trying to discourage me because they kept telling me that I can't get it till Monday it has to be Monday I was like no since it was dispatched yesterday and you said it has left Abuja you can't tell me that even if I isn't boss self you can't tell me that I cannot get my passport till Monday there must be a a, a first point of contact with Spot Harcourt wherever is that wherever that first point of contact is let me go there and see if I can get it out of there you can't get it though and like before they finish offloading before they finish scanning before they finish this 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 thing like so it will be late and they don't work on weekends blah 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 blah, blah. she just talk she didn't even let me finish. You know when somebody just doesn't want to hear what you have to say? Ah, it pay me, oh, it pay me. You know what? I now sat down there, I was not thinking, I see which kind of work. She now said, anyway, if you want to uh, talk to somebody, you have to wait. There's someone that's coming around 10. When she comes, you know, she'll be the one to help, try and help you. I now said, my flight is by 12 o'clock, so I need to go back home. I can't wait here till 10 o'clock. When my flight is by 12, when will I reach home and pack my things and start driving to the airport? Like, I need solution right now. She said, nothing I can do. You have to just wait. You have to just wait. And I said, okay, what time can she come? She said, eh, between 9 and 10. You know, it can be past 10. You know, kind of nonchalant, like dismissive attitude. I was just like, God, what kind of thing is this? Why is, why, is, why is my own different? And if it's not going to come, then let me not be suffering here. Let me not be here going through this emotional torture. In the, and in the end, it won't come. Anyway, I now sat down there. I just sat down. Because normally, me, whenever I'm in... Um, distress i am not the expressive type when i'm in distress i'm more introverted and i now shut down more like i'm more introspective when i'm in distress you know so i don't even talk much so i just sat down there she was just talking you know i just sat down I was just thinking something just told me are you going to be here and soap will enter your eye you'll be inside water and soap will enter your eye won't you go outside and go and look for solution i said okay my dear next thing i just jumped up i walked straight outside where i saw some men gathered and i went to meet them because they were like the all these delivery men, maybe the drivers, the dispatch guys, the warehouse guys, like just the back office guys, right? I just went to meet them and I said, please see my situation. Okay, look at what's going on. Blah 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 blah. I explained the whole thing to them and said, please, where is the earliest place that I can get this passport from? That was just my concern. Where is the earliest like the 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 moment it touches down Portacos, where can I get this passport from? They said, ah, let them find out now. You know, next thing, this man just jumped into action. There were like four or five men there. One person was getting my web number, another person was snapping the web number, another person was going to track it. He even tracked it, printed out um, something. This is some people that are working in an office where they told me that I cannot get it till Monday. I'm not even exaggerating. These people took it as if it was their pa it was their package that they were looking for, right? They just you know jumped into action, and that brings me to the second part of my theory. The second part of my theory is that good men, both good men and bad men, right, tend to be more nice in general, right? Men tend to be not more nice in general, especially to women, first of all, or to people in general. I think men in general are more nice, they are more, whether they like you or they don't like you, like they are more willing to be nice and help you, right? But when they want to be evil, eh -eh, when they want to, especially when it comes to crime, <laughs> when it comes to crime, men are the ones that commit the most heinous, you know, depraved, dangerous, devilish crimes, right? It's men that are more likely to commit those. So, so personally, I think that men generally tend to be very nice. 
except when they are very wicked like when they are extremely wicked but women she may not be very wicked though but because she doesn't like you or she doesn't really care about the situation she's not going to be nice to you you know that's my theory anyway so this guy has now helped me now told me okay that there's somebody at the airport right now to receive the packages for that day from their from their um, tracking my package left this morning or was going to leave that that's friday morning so they've called the guy at the airport that's supposed to receive it they've told him they sent him my will number so the moment he gets it he will try and send it down to the ups office and i should just get somebody the guy was even telling me you say your flight is by 12 right we can't keep you here waiting so just go get your um, id card and then write a letter of authorization for someone else to pick up for you so that you can be going like they were even dismissing me to just go go and, go and take your flight we'll, we'll handle the whole thing i was like Wow, so what if I just sat down there waiting for that lady to bring somebody that will attend to me by 10 o'clock? The person has not even, I have not even come to the to office so by 10. What if I was just there waiting? I did not, I did not stand on that's, that's why it's good to try you always try. Don't just sit down there and be waiting for what they tell you. Oh, they say it's not going to work, you know. I say, okay, it's not working. I sit down there. Whoa, it's going to <laughs> You'll be the one that will be disadvantaged because nobody's going to tell you sorry. Like, if I miss my flight now to South Africa and everything, they're not, they're not going to do anything about it because it's not even their fault. They were dispatched the thing late, you know. Thank God that's not what happened. Maximum grace, minimum effort. There was effort too, but this is compared to the gain, it was minimum effort. Please, compared to how everything turned out for my good, it was minimum effort because, in fact, I didn't even need to get somebody to send my passport to me to um, Lagos or Abuja or go and pick up passport. I'm just here chilling and my passport is coming to meet me, okay? <laughs> Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. When she comes, um, I'll get ready and start heading to the airport. I think I'll vlog my airport journey and the journey to South Africa separately. Um, let me end this vlog here on story time, whatever this is. Let me end it here and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!